We turn now to an exclusive look at a highly controversial food that may soon land in America's supermarkets. It's a breed of fish created by humans, capable of growing up to three times as fast as Mother Nature's model. Well, FDA scientists say it's safe to eat, but would you take a bite? ABC's Jim Avila traveled to a secret location in Central America for this Nightline Investigates. Deep in the rainforests of Panama, in a secret location, behind padlock gates, barbed wire fences, and over a rickety wooden bridge, grows what could be the most debated food product of our time. Shades of Jurassic Park, this is a real-life freshwater farm altering the genes, not of dinosaurs, but instead growing a new DNA-altered saltwater fish in the mountains, far from the sea. A salmon that could be the first genetically altered animal protein approved for the world to eat. A landmark change for human food. Critics call them frankenfish. The idea of changing an animal farm, I think, is really creepy. When you move the DNA from a species into another species, you create a new life form that's so new and so unique that you can get a patent for it. And until now, Aquabounty, the multinational biotech company that for 20 years has been developing this giant fish, has kept it under close wraps. The press never invited to its Prince Edward Island laboratory on the Canadian maritime coast. Its fish farm location in Panama kept secret out of fear of sabotage. Nightline is the first to see up close and actually taste this mysterious fish FDA scientists say is safe for Americans to eat, but has yet to officially approve. This is basically a Fort Knox for fish. Entry to both facilities begins with bodysuits and iodine baths for shoes to keep the fish safe from our germs. How many times do outsiders come in to this facility? We've not given tours uh, to, in this facility for more than four years. Inside these protected tanks, America gets the first up-close look at the final product, the fish that has had the food police up in arms. When you look at these fish and you hear the word frankenfish, what goes through your mind? It's infuriating. The big difference is visual. The small fish in the right hand is a normal-sized one-year-old Atlantic salmon, the second most popular seafood in America. Its big brother in the other hand, and we do mean big, is the same age, but at least three times larger. They differ by a single gene. But it's that single gene change that makes the DNA-altered salmon grow much faster than a normal Atlantic salmon. Because in reality, it's three fish in one. Aquabounty scientists have merely taken a growth gene from the Chinook salmon and inserted it into the DNA of the Atlantic salmon. Because Chinooks grow fast from birth. Atlantics do not. Salmon in their first two years of life grow very slowly. Then there's one more genetic alteration. A growth switch from a sea eel also was inserted into the Atlantic salmon DNA. Because natural salmon normally only grow in summer, the eel grows all year round. So it grows at top speed from birth. Yep. You get the market size at least 12 months before any other type of salmon that's out there. Aquabounty says the fish are ready for market and now wants the FDA to approve what it calls the Aqua Advantage salmon for American dinner plates. Already, 80% of our corn, soybeans, and sugar beets are genetically altered, but until now, never meet. It opens up a whole other section of the grocery store to this technology, which we think is still not fully understood. Sensitive to criticism that these fish could escape into the wild and wipe out natural salmon, Aquabounty is anxious to show what it says are 16 redundant safety nets to keep their fish inside. We've been operating this facility for more than 20 years and we've never lost a single fish. Another safeguard, these super fish are sterile. These animals can't transmit their genetic information to a subsequent generation. They're, they're incapable of breeding. So despite the resemblance to Dr. John Hammond in the fictional Jurassic Park, where DNA experiments went tragically awry. Don't you see the danger, uh, John, inherent? Uh, in what you're doing here, genetic power is the most awesome force the planet's ever seen. CEO Ron Stadis assures us nothing can go wrong with this fish, altered by science, to grow and get to market faster. This fish is identical to the traditional uh, salmon in every measurable way. But have we gone too far? I wouldn't want to eat this fish unless it's gone through 
a proper uh, approval process. Critics say the FDA scientists didn't do enough independent work and use company data to come to its safety conclusions, some of which tested only six fish. That kind of science wouldn't make it past a high school science fair. Is this something I should be afraid of? You eat DNA every time you swallow. Uh, you consume DNA with every food that you eat. I'm not even altered DNA. The gene that is responsible for the rapid growth comes from the Chinook salmon, the Pacific salmon. That protein is essentially identical to the same protein that's produced by the Atlantic salmon. And nothing's going to happen to me or my children if they eat this fish. It will make you healthier. Man has been altering the nature of animals since man walked upright and began domesticating animals. The beef that we consume, the, the, the pork that we consume today, don't resemble their, their uh, uh, early ancestors at all. Two days ago, this fish was swimming around in a tank. If there is a difference in this DNA-altered salmon, it's not in the flavor. Same texture, eating frankenfish. <laughs> no, please don't use that term. <laughs> Science fiction meets reality, food created in a lab and a small company based in Canada hoping the FDA will ignore the obvious stereotype and allow it on American dinner plates. For Nightline, I'm Jim Avila in Panama.